Hello everyone, I'm Tom, and this is Tom's Money Magic. Future Tom here. I just want to tell you that I'm filming this a few days after I did the first clip, and that's just because we realised that the intro that I did wasn't that clear. So today I'm going to be talking to you about the spreadsheets that I use to calculate my worth. On here, I'll just say straight away, this isn't actually how much I have. I've divided what I actually have by a random number, but all of these percentages will still say the same because they're all divided by the same amount. How I calculate my shares from week to week. I usually do it on the Monday of every week. First thing you might notice, it's pretty late. This is filmed after I've had dinner, after I did the um intro. How do I calculate how much I have? So first, I've got uh, the first column is you put in what you might have, so let's just put like Apple, or you could put Coles. Um, Coles might be an Australian only um, like supermarket, I don't know if it's around the world for people that aren't actually in Australia, but I'll put it in there, um, maybe Tesla, um, just trying to think of some shares that uh like some companies that you would all know about in that. So maybe put like Sony. Um yeah, that's all I can think about right now. But then you put the predicted growth. So you could either go onto Google and look up how much it is, but I'll just guess for now. So Apple I would say every year it would go up around fifteen percent. Might be more than that, might be less. And Sony, I don't really know too much about. So I'll just put 10% as well. And then, so we put um, the number of shares that you might have. So I know Apple is pretty expensive, so you would only probably have three or four. Put three. And then here, you put the price of the share, and then it times it by that. And you'll see this automatically, it gets um, the amount that you think will uh, grow per year. And then it times it by the now price and then adds that on top. So that's how much it will be worth in one year. And then the two year does it on top of that one. And it all just automatically goes across. So this one, it times the amount of shares by how much share would be. And then Tesla, I know they're doing pretty well at the moment with shares so they might be around seven hundred dollars then down the bottom it does a um total of all of these put together in the whole column and then um uh this is just the total of each growth and this one the box profit gives me the total of all of these then i've got i've named this page total income because you have the growth which this growth gets the average of all of the growth that you've put along here. So I might have to change that because it's got a couple too many in there. Because I usually have a couple more shares than how many I put in there. I'll put the average as, um, let's say, 12.5%. There we go. So then, that, this uh, growth, it gets what you have now and times it by the <coughs> um the average growth so it's basically the exact same uh formula as uh what it has here and then it get so the subtotal gets all of these and puts them all into one box and then adds the now and the subtotal together so then this one will put uh this overall total and this subtotal together and so on and then, so we've got pocket money. So let's say I would get $10 pocket money a week. So we go equals $10 a week times 52 weeks in the year. And then when I'm 15, let's say it goes up $2 per week. And then it goes up to 15. And then as I get older, it gets up to 20. And then bookkeeping. I do bookkeeping for my mum. So... Uh, let's say I get maybe $15 a week a uh, month for it because my mum gets the statements for each property once a month. So we go 15 times 12. So let's say 
like it might go up a little bit as she gets more properties and then here uh, might like it stays the same for a year because she doesn't buy a property in that year that's because like it would go up the more properties I have to do the bookkeeping for and then the birthday slash Christmas let's say over birthday and Christmas you get about $150 in total from your friends, family, grandparents, whoever gives you money at Christmas or your birthday. And then let's just say it goes up by about $50 each year. And it might be more if you like specifically ask your family for just money for your birthday or Christmas. Uh, but some people don't like giving other people just money. They like going and picking a present and seeing you have a reaction when you open up that present. Then other, it might be for chores or something. Some people, I know, their pocket money is reliant on if they do chores. But in my house, we just get the pocket money anyway. But, like, we still have to do unpack the dishwasher and the normal stuff. But then if we, like, vacuum to the house or something like that, or clean the car, or did some gardening around the house, don't know what jobs you would have at your house, uh, you could say that you get about $50 in just chores and that other other than that and then it just goes up by a little bit each year and as you get older you might want to try and earn a bit more money so I'll just make you go up by $50 instead of $25 and then for a job I've got this as um I actually suck out of a different um table that I've got here so like I said uh that I would only start working properly when I'm 15 because in New South Wales Australia the there isn't really an age limit on how old you need to be when you can work, but most places will only take you when you're 14 years and 9 months or over. Like some places might only take you if you're 16 years old. When you start working, I've looked it up a few times, you don't get paid that much. Maybe $12 an hour is about minimum. And then it goes up a little bit as you get older. And as you get older, you might change jobs or something because... Uh, you're older, you have more skills than that. And then working during s school hours, like during the school term, um, you might be able to work like six hours a week. One or two hours each day, each day of the week. Excluding uh, like the weekends because on the weekends you might do a bit more than the week, but you also might spend more time with your family, don't know. And then just have it go up by about two hours each year. During the holidays, you might you would definitely do more hours per week because you've got more time off. So let's say it went up a little bit more during the holiday. So this uh the hours is per week, if I haven't mentioned that. So and then it goes up a little bit faster along here because in the holidays you have more time. Something like that. But these are all guesses. So, and then this. So it gets the average of the hours here. So it would get 8 and then times it by uh, the amount you get per hour. And then it times it by 50 weeks. So I think that um, during the year, I think you would only have about 50 weeks where you would actually do stuff because you might go away on holidays or something like that. But I haven't. Uh, taken too many weeks off because I think that maybe during the holidays um, you might do a bit more than I've said or something like that. So yeah that just goes across and then over here I'll have it and then I'll just do equals this box and then if you just drag that over again then just means that um, this one it's the exact same as that one and this one this box is the exact same as that box, and so on. So yeah, that's uh, the spreadsheet. And then once I get this number, I would then come across and put it into this spreadsheet, like I said before. So I've done it every week um, since basically the start of the year, up until recently. So I did it yesterday. And then I've just got this here, which um, gets the change in value over that week and whether or not it's gone up or down. So red is if it's gone down, 
the greatness of it's gone up. And uh, like sometimes when I actually put money in, like I might save up for a few weeks all of my pocket money and bookkeeping if I get it at that time or birthday money. Then I put it all in at once, so that's why it goes up so much. Or just the um stock market, like the price of shares has just gone up, so it means that the total price, the total value is gone up. So I just want to mention this here. Went to first job. So recently, uh, near the start of September, as it says there, um, I, my mum found a local gardening thing on on our local um Facebook page. So it was just asking if any teenagers wanted to do some gardening for some cash during the holidays. So uh, the holidays actually started about the week after, or that for me. But um, I went to my first job on that weekend. Uh, so I was doing gardening for someone. I won't say how much, but in total so far, I've done about 12 hours of work there. So yeah, that's pretty good. So uh. So at some point where it's gone up quite a bit, it um like percentage wise because this isn't the actual numbers, um it went up because I'd put more money in after saving some up from my job. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. And then I've got one more shares. So when I buy a share, I would put in what date I got on it. So uh for the ones that we've got here. Uh, let's say we got Apple on the 17th of, uh, I think that's July, um, 2018. So we put Apple there. But, and then we got uh, three shares. But obviously it wouldn't be worth as much as it is now. Let's put maybe uh, uh, 1.6 thousand there. So, like, per share. And then here we would just put the price per share times the amount of shares that we bought and this is my current holding so i would also put them into purchases and if i ever sold a share i would put them in here i would again put the date what share was how many of them and how much i sold them for and it give me here and then every time i get a dividend i write it in here and uh this again is the how much was per share times the amount of shares that it got paid for, for the dividends. And then um, here, I would put how much money I've reinvested, because sometimes if I get the dividends, I might put it straight back into another share, or I might put it into raise, which is something I've, I've talked about on my website, and I might have talked it, about it in a video as well. Let's just continue putting these in. Let's say Sony, we only got it near the start of the year. Let's say it's actually gone down because COVID has basically destroyed the whole market. Some things have come up depending on the um, the country, like if it's a worldwide stock or if it's a um, company just relative to your country. Like I know some American uh, companies might be going down in price because of... Um, the US just having so many cases and lots of companies and that being uh, taken apart. So let's put this one as like 30th of maybe March. And so we bought 20 of them and they were, so we've got them as $20 now, but let's say we bought them for $28. So they've actually gone down by about $150 since we bought them. Now we would just basically copy all of these into the purchase then let's say recently we've wanted to sell those Sony shares because they went down so much so then I would put up here let's say I sold them on the 12th of August this year which was not that long ago only about two months ago and then we put Sony here um, and then we put down, maybe I only sold half of the shares. And oh, they've actually come up in price since I sold them. So I sold them at about $18, maybe a bit less, $17. So I've sold some. So then I would go back and I would take off my current holdings, 10. So purchases, it still has a record of me buying 
20. But at the moment, I've only got 10 of them. And this just this number would just show when you um the earliest that you bought it. So then you would also have to come over to your portfolio worth one if you uh want to make the same kind of spreadsheets. And then I would come over here and I would just uh, write the number of shares for Sony as 10 as well. And then that makes everything go down. Like that would go down and then everything here would go down because um, it automatically just updates every cell. Thank you all for listening. If you have any comments, questions or feedback, please do that in the comment section down below or head to my website. That's all for me today. See ya.